New year, new me, let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode of Cooking with Chow. Happy New Year. We are going to kick off the new year with a delicious, healthy Bangkok Buddha bowl. I love Buddha bowls. These are one of my favorite things to make because they are easy, delicious, healthy, nutritious, and the best thing of it all is that you can prep it and eat it throughout the week. Our choice of protein is chicken breast. I know chicken breast is one of those meats that people are always scared to make because it is always dry. But today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make it the juiciest, flavorful chicken breast ever. I'm using two pieces. And what we're going to do is we're gonna add one teaspoon of some curry powder. Today's bowl is kind of a play on like a red Thai curry, but in a salad form. Then we're going to add some lemon juice, one teaspoon, and one teaspoon of some fish sauce, as well as some pepper. Make sure those juices and those spices are all up in that chicken. Set this aside for 15 minutes. In every good salad, there's also a crunch part to it. So what we're going to be making today is homemade pita chips. So I just took some pita bread here that I had left over. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut it up into nice pieces. This, toss it into a bowl, then take some oil and you're going to drizzle it on. Add some garlic plus powder, just sprinkle it like so. Then a little bit of some salt and some pepper. Give her a good toss in. Pop it on a baking sheet. Just a little bit more salt. And we're going to pop this in the oven at 425 for about 12 minutes. Now that our chicken has marinated for 15 minutes, let's get to cooking it. So I've already started to heat my cast iron pan. You're going to add in a drizzle of some oil. Carefully lay in your chicken. Very important is right as it hits the pan, you don't want to touch it to let a nice sear develop on the outer edge of the chicken. So don't move, just let it be. Oh, it smells like it's burning, but it's not, I promise. <laughs> Ignore the smoke. So as you can see, you have a beautiful sear. Let this cover and sit for about five minutes. Clearly I'm not cleaning with chow, I'm only cooking with chow. If you guys want tips from James Chow as to how to clean, comment below. We're thinking of starting his new channel, Cleaning with Chow. It's been about five minutes, we're gonna flip it over. We're going to let it sear on the bottom to help to trap in that moisture, and then we're gonna cover it, and we're gonna let it cook slowly for an extra five minutes. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Okay, so more of a nice sear. A little bit more oil, just a little bit. And we're gonna cover this for five minutes. Do you wanna show the people how to juggle? Let's get back to the cooking, shall we? I like to add a little bit of water to help steam the chicken and provide back that moisture back, back, back into the chicken. Let's go. Oh, beautiful. And I present to you pita chips. Ah, it's hot. Check on a chicken, just about done. Oh yeah, that looks good. Oh, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna let it have a bit more of a crust and then we're gonna remove it off, for real. Okay, now we're gonna take it off the heat and I promise you it is delicious. The trick with your chicken is you wanna let it rest because it's going to continually cook inside there. So while we let this rest, we're gonna start on the sauce. For our sauce, what I love to pair with this Buddha bowl is a peanut saute sauce. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make that. What you're going to need is one quarter cup of peanut butter. I like the smooth kind. Equal parts lime juice or lemon juice, two tablespoons of soy sauce, the sesame oil. For a little bit of heat, add some sriracha and some garlic. Okay, and you're gonna whisk that up. Oh, that looks so good. The consistency you want is like this. It's not too thick. It's nice and runny, but not drippingly runny. Let's do a little taste test. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 
We forgot one more part. The honey. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of some honey. Okay, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now that's a sauce. Oh, look at that. It's juicy. Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. The perfect thing about a Buddha bowl is that you can literally add in any topics that you would like. So whatever floats your boat, okay? So this is what I like to put in mine. Fresh romaine lettuce, egg noodle. So this is um, just egg noodle that I've already cooked last night and I just let it sit in the fridge overnight to cool down. It helps to really take in that sauce and just adds really nice texture to the dish. Next up, I like carrots. Julienned carrots, fresh cucumbers, bit of some onion in here, some corn. Oh, that looks so good. Then you're gonna grab your chicken and you're going to nicely lay that on top. Just like that. Oh, look at that. And that chicken juice, you ain't gonna throw that out. Nah, 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 nah. You're gonna just nicely add that on top. Oh. Finish it with some garnish of some lime, add some scallion, and crushed peanuts. Can't forget your pita chips. I'm just gonna lay it on the side like that. Then you're gonna take that peanut sauce that you made, and you're just going to drizzle it over that chicken and over the rest of the salad. Extra garnish. Have some parsley. 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 And there you have it, an easy Bangkok bootable right at home. Oh, this looks amazing. Mm. Mm. Grab that chicken. The salad is refreshing, it's very well balanced, and you have so many textures that are just going on at the same time. You have the noodle that's a little bit soft, but the crispiness and the refreshingness from that lettuce and all of those other vegetables that we added in there. But then you have the bite that comes through from the purple onion, and this pita chip is so freaking good, and it's crunchy, oh, this is just, such a beautiful masterpiece. Oh, and also, the crust on that chicken is just absolutely incredible. You can really taste the nice curry notes of that. It really comes through in this dish, and honestly, everything here really pairs well, so well. You would never know that this is a Buddha bowl because it tastes absolutely delicious. If you guys try this recipe, please comment below what you loved about the recipe or things that you didn't love about the recipe because trust me, I will read every single one of those. But I promise you, you're gonna love this. And you know what? You're gonna be $15 richer because you can just make your own salad right at home. As always, full recipe details will be below. So don't forget to check those out. And also, most importantly, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell because we drop videos every week and we're gonna see you guys next week. Well, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys later. Ciao for now.